My name is Robin Barton. I am writing you today to share how and why I started attending this church and why the Our Own Backyard program is so important. My husband passed away November 7th uh, 20, of 2020. I was lost. My life changed in a second and I was scared. I grabbed hold of Jesus and prayed. I was never in a place like this before, but I knew he was there in all of his amazing, beautiful ways and would walk me through this. As months passed, I was finding I needed something in my life that would make me feel good. God knows the desire of my heart is to help those sick and suffering with addiction and the homeless. I wrote that letter to the elders of the church, to the ministers of the church, to our own backyard because I felt that it was important for them to know just how much this ministry has touched my life. Not just with the feeding of the people on the street, but the feeding of the folks that are involved in this ministry. I felt like I was glued to my chair at home after my husband passed. I prayed a lot and I knew that God had something for me, but I was just lost. Um, the very first day that I walked in to the ministry, I was not lost anymore. Um, I was, I was, I knew as soon as I entered, just the beautiful people, the, the talk of God, the sharing of um, good things that happened during the week, prayer requests, talking about those that are on the street. Um, my daughter is a recovering addict, um, over eight years clean now, and my heart was just lost. My husband was gone, and I needed something good. The first time that I went out to the street, it was incredible. I was um, blessed and amazed by the people that our own backyard has been serving for several years and how they would come forward in prayer for those who are serving them on the street, for the people from our own backyard that is there. My granddaughters, Genevieve, who is 11, and Marie, who is nine, knows that they're GAM, that's what they call me, loves to help people. And I think it's important for my grandchildren, for younger people to understand how important that is, to understand how blessed they really are, um, that they aren't really going without all they think, that there are many people who are going without a home. And we talked about the fact that Gam was involved with this ministry, and I asked them if they would like to come, and they both said that they would love to come. What's really special to me out on the street is that one-on-one. -on -one. And knowing that God has put me in front of someone who needs Him, who needs some light, who needs some help, and to look at them eyeball to eyeball and talk without them feeling intimidated. The beauty coming from the folks of our own backyard to these folks, just like they were going to visit a friend. Um, so friendly, so kind, praying, asking for if they need anything. What they received back, what I received back from that was so beautiful. People have a hard time looking eyeball to eyeball with somebody who is homeless or an addict and to see the joy in the people in the street in their eyes to look up to somebody and be received was just absolutely beautiful. Feeding the homeless, feeding those in need is more than just giving them a meal. And it's not just what we're giving to them as far as hope, as far as um, inspiration as far as caring that there are still people out here in this world that do care about what happens to them. It's also the community of our own backyard.